Harrison Bucker's Controversial Commencement Speech and Personal Life, A Closer Look Harrison Bucker, the Kansas City Chiefs kicker, recently faced backlash for his controversial commencement speech at Benedictine College. During his address, he made remarks that compared Pride Month to a deadly sin and encouraged women to embrace the role of a homemaker. The speech sparked a heated debate about inclusivity and gender roles. In this article, we delve into Bucker's speech, his personal life with his wife Isabel, and their journey together. Harrison Bucker's Controversial Commencement Speech Harrison Bucker's commencement speech at Benedictine College stirred controversy due to his remarks about Pride Month and gender roles. Comparing Pride Month to a deadly sin ignited backlash from the LGBTQ community and allies who advocate for equality and acceptance. His comments about women embracing the role of a homemaker also drew criticism for reinforcing traditional gender stereotypes. The speech highlighted the ongoing societal conversation about inclusivity, diversity, and the importance of respecting and celebrating individual identities. Isabel Bucker, a brief background. Isabel Bucker, Harrison Bucker's wife, has been a part of his life since their middle school days. They became high school sweethearts and have been together ever since. Isabel pursued her education at Rhodes College, where she was also a student athlete. The couple got engaged in 2017 and subsequently married in 2018. Isabel's personal journey includes a conversion to Catholicism, which played a significant role in their relationship and shared values. Exploring Harrison and Isabel's personal life, Harrison and Isabel Bucker's personal life reflects their commitment to each other and their growing family. They have two children together, and their shared experiences as parents shape their perspectives and priorities. While their personal life is separate from Harrison's controversial speech, it is important to acknowledge the impact their relationship dynamics may have on their perspectives and beliefs. Understanding their personal journey can provide insights into the context of their public statements and actions. Navigating Controversy and Personal Beliefs Harrison Bucker's controversial commencement speech raises questions about the intersection of personal beliefs and public platforms. The speech drew criticism from those who believe in promoting inclusivity and challenging traditional gender roles. It is crucial to recognize that individuals have the right to hold their own beliefs, but public figures, like Bucker, face increased scrutiny due to their influence and visibility. The controversy surrounding his speech serves as a reminder of the importance of using platforms responsibly and considering the impact of words on marginalized communities. The importance of dialogue and education. The backlash against Harrison Bucker's speech presents an opportunity for dialogue and education. Constructive conversations can help bridge understanding and create space for diverse perspectives. It is essential to engage in respectful discussions that promote empathy, acceptance, and inclusivity. By openly discussing controversial topics, we can work towards a more inclusive society where everyone's identities and experiences are respected and valued. Harrison Bucker's controversial commencement speech at Benedictine College sparked a heated debate about inclusivity and gender roles. While his remarks regarding Pride Month and homemaker roles drew criticism, it is equally important to consider his personal journey and the context in which his beliefs were shaped. Understanding Bucker's personal life with his wife Isabel provides insights into their shared values and experiences. The controversy surrounding his speech serves as a reminder of the responsibility public figures have in using their platforms to promote inclusivity and respect for all individuals. Emphasizing the importance of dialogue and education can help foster understanding and create a more inclusive society for everyone.